guys. 6.35 a.m. September 13th, 2017. I uh, just wanted to bring you the quick morning update and bring you some of these changes. Um, we have had that model, the European model, move off of Miami. Um, it still is to the east, closer to the east coast, um, is what I mean there. And uh, these models are still staying pretty consistent. Um, there's some changes on Ventu Sky that I found interesting. Uh, they actually have Jose sitting out by uh, uh, Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, and even uh, Virginia for about two full days. It looks like it just sits out here. I don't know if that's related to the data that shows it uh, maybe hitting the East Coast, coming back out, and then hitting again. Um, still, it is a possibility. I don't think it's likely, but it is really interesting to see these loops forming, how it might do a second loop. Uh, and then go towards the East Coast. So again, it's just something to watch. Um, here's just a comparison from what I reported last night. Here was that European model, um, and it has moved, as you can see. It's moved right here, if you can follow my mouse. And it looks like it's going right up towards the area of uh, East Coast of North Carolina, Virginia, and then Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, New York. So that's what it looks like right now. That's where the data is pointing. Um, don't need this one. Let's show you the cone map really quick. Um, here we go. Here is our time frame as of right now. 5 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, we are about an hour and a half past there. Uh, we know that Jose is making its northern trip. And guys, Jose got stronger overnight. Um, I said last night, don't be surprised if you wake up today and find out that Jose got stronger. Um, Jose's pressure has dropped to 985. I know it's only two places, but... Um, the second we started heading south, guys, we got stronger. So that bit of dry air they were talking about getting sucked up into Jose has actually not really done much to weaken it. Um, it's actually gotten stronger. So what we need to do now is we need to watch how far south this storm goes. That's going to determine how long we are in warm water, and that will determine the angle at which Jose starts heading up towards the east coast. It's almost looking like guaranteed that this thing is going to shift start heading west after its southern dip. We don't know how long it's going to be in this water, especially anything below 20 degrees here is uh, very significant, very warm water, and will more than likely strengthen this thing to a place where we just really don't need it to be right now after the last couple weeks we've had here in the U.S. Um, Later on in the afternoon, I'm going to dig into that West Coast storm. I just wanted to get you guys a morning update and just to give you an idea of um, drastic changes that happened just in one night, guys. We're talking seven, eight hours ago, I was reporting that um, Jose and places like the Weather Channel and stuff were expecting this thing to die off. It's nothing to worry about. And now all of a sudden, guys, we are heading south a little bit and we are getting stronger. So that's what the data is showing. That's what I'm bringing to you. I just want to give you an idea real quick of what I'm talking about with this storm just sitting out by New York and New Jersey all the way down to Delaware and Virginia. Just check this out. Here's Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th, Sunday the 17th, Monday the 18th, and here's Tuesday the 19th. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play here. I'm going to let it go through its normal motion. Just look at how long it sits here. And again, guys, this is because of things like the jet stream and other pressures. This is the Bermuda pressure in the Atlantic, which is a big bubble, basically, in the whole Atlantic Ocean. Basically, think of a current turning clockwise, and it just keeps things out of there. Things can get in there, but it just aids in steering these storms. And then with the jet stream, guys, look, it's just sitting there. It's bouncing back and forth. Look at that. It does another loop-to-loop. -loop. Goes out farther. And then it looks to separate into a system, reform again, and then go right into the Chesapeake Bay. So guys, according to Ventu Sky right now, we have almost a double hit on New Jersey. and or It could be a double hit near New Jersey, uh, Maryland, Delaware. And then another model shows actually doing the Chesapeake Bay. So right on this, on Ventu Sky, the GFS version, we had a little hit around New Jersey. It came out and over a day and a half reforms and then goes into the Chesapeake Bay. So that is very interesting. I know I mentioned a double hit yesterday. I think a couple other channels were mentioning that as well. That's what the data is showing, guys, and that's what we're going off of. And even you can, ch you can tell the tone is changing on the weather channel. It's changing <clears throat> on other uh, weather channels such as that. 
um, they're changing their tone on this, guys. They're shifting focus to the storm, and I think it's important. We got stronger. I mean, that needs to be pointed out. That's important. Um, we're getting gusts around 90 miles an hour now with this storm, um, about 80 mile per hour sustained winds, maybe 75. But again, the barometric pressure dropped, and we are moving southeast now, guys, at 8 miles an hour. So it's very significant to know that. It's important to follow these models. Really quick, I'll run through our jet stream and the different pressures steering this storm. If you see Jose here, watch what happens. You have the remnants of Irma here. This is also part of Irma after it moves out, apparently, according to this chart, out of the Gulf and then in here. So two different parts of Irma are now steering Jose. And it gives it one spot, and that's right here. And then it shows a hit by New Jersey. It comes back out, and then this upward draft once again causes it to reform, and then it hits again. So guys, we need to follow this storm. I don't think we're going to have a choice at this point. I notice, like I said, the Weather Channel is really beginning to hone in on this. Here's just a slide I'm going to do for you. I don't know why it does that blue flash. I think when it adjusts frames, it does it. There's a smoother version. Watch how it comes south. That dry air that was being talked about, I'll show you the swirl. I don't know why it does this, but there's a swirl right there. If you saw that, that was dry air. And the meteorologist on the Weather Channel said that that may aid in weakening it. But guys, that came and went. Um, that did not weaken it. The storm has actually been stronger. And now we are heading south, and we are waiting for our westward movement. And then once that happens, we're going to determine our angle, guys. And then we'll really have an idea of where on the coast this thing might go. All right, quick update. Like I said, I actually pulled one off. I'm proud of myself. But uh, guys, thank you for listening with me. This afternoon, I'll have a bigger update with the West Coast storms. And we're going to have more data on Jose, guys. We cannot take our eyes off Jose. That's what we got to do. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.